now we need to perform diode detector characteristics in this also we need to connect 8 volts adapter and we need to connect audio signal output like this and connections of our ground all are same so we can connect ground to any point and this is here yeah, we don't have connection for ground so we can connect any one of this point as ground uh, we can measure this by connecting to channel 1 of CRO now switch on the key and we need to measure audio signal generator see here we don't have connection here for ground so we, can, we are connecting it here and all terminals are grounded here commonly so we are connecting here and see the output on channel 1 select channel 1 as source and change the amplitude of our modulating signal see here this is our amplitude and frequency of our audio signal and measure the amplitude 1 2 3 from x axis we are having 3 volts into 2 means totally 6 volts amplitude of our audio signal and we need to measure the time period like from pause no now for this audio signal uh, we need to measure the time period by uh, positive and negative cycle measurement into our time per division now this is to keep it in microseconds because it is a high frequency signal for measuring the carrier signal uh, we need to check this mode we have different options like auto norm tvv and tvv h so uh, by adjusting this mode to auto or tvv we need to get the output as carrier signal here and we need to measure amplitude and time period of the carrier signal uh, same as uh, earlier and we need to give the amplitude modulated output for that we are giving AF output to AF input and carrier output to carrier input and we are connecting first channel to AF output second channel to our AM output and in this AM output we are having three outputs like critical modulation, under modulation and over modulation. For over modulation, modulation index is greater than 1, for under modulation it is less than 1 and for critical modulation, modulation index is equal to 1 and we need to observe the output on channel 2. See here, this is our This is our amplitude modulation output. By adjusting the audio signal generator amplitude, we will get three types of modulation. Critical modulation, under modulation, this is our critical modulation and over modulation. For under modulation, we will get V maximum and V minimum. Adjust the audio signal amplitude and we will get three types of modulations over modulation, under modulation and critical modulation and we need to measure V maximum by putting it in ground and put it in AC and from ground to maximum is V maximum. This is our V maximum from point is origin to this point is V maximum and for over modulation V minimum is negative. So from origin to here what is the value 0.4 minus 0.4 into our voltage knob into 1. V maximum into 1, V minimum into 1. This is over modulation. After that by adjusting the amplitude of audio signal we will get critical modulation 
V minimum is 0 for critical modulation and this is our V maximum. What is the value from origin? 1.2 into 1. After that again adjust the amplitude of our audio signal generator. We will get under modulation and it is having V max. This is our under modulation, this is V max and this is V minimum. Very less value of V minimum. This is 0.2 into 1 and this is 1 into 1. V maximum and V minimum for under modulation. And these are the three modulations we are getting at the AM output. See here, this is our modulating signal and this is our modulated output, AM modulated output. And we, for that we need to connect channel 1 to the modulating signal, audio signal generator, modulated output to the channel 2. This is our modulated output, this is our modulating signal output. And now connect this modulated output to the demodulated output and we are connecting diode detector. This is our diode detector characteristic. So we are connecting AM output to diode. Now diode to the demodulated output for that we will get demodulated output this is our demodulated output and we need to adjust the amplitude of our modulated signal the demodulated output and this is our modulating output by adjusting the modulating signal amplitude we can get the demodulated this output this is our Correct. input and this is our output Whatever we are transmitting here and we are receiving here. This is the amplitude, this is the modulating signal, this is the demodulating signal. And we need to measure amplitude and time 